Can you guys tell the difference? Can you guys tell the difference between which powders I used? Never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel My name is Sabrina, as most of you guys already know And this is my channel, Sabrina Rose Today I have quite an exciting video for you guys I know you guys have been really loving my whole Maybelline videos That I've been doing, the one on the foundations And the one on me trying new products So today, go figure I have another Maybelline video for you guys today And today I'm going to be testing out the Maybelline loose finishing powders and comparing them to two kind of popular powders that are in the makeup community. The first one is the Black Opal Finishing Powder in Medium and the Laura Mercier Finishing Powder in Translucent Medium Deep. So I've already primed my face. I put on foundation and concealer already. I primed my face using the Benefit Professional Primer. And then using a beauty blender, I put on the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color Toffee. If you guys haven't seen my Maybelline comparison of the Fit Me Foundation shades, I'll leave a card right up above for you guys to go and check that out afterwards. And then I put on some concealer underneath my eyes only. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 30 Cafe. So first, I'm going to set my concealer under my eyes like I usually do. If you guys haven't seen my video testing out these powders, I will also leave a card up for it as well. But in that video, I told you guys I like to use a brush more to apply these loose powders under my eyes. Usually, I'll use a damp sponge or something to apply the powder under my eyes and I don't bake because I'm more normal to dry skin. I'm not oily. So that's what I'm going to do with these powders today. I'm going to use the color 35. It's kind of a cool tone brown shade that it's closer to my skin tone a little bit. And I'm going to use that under my eyes to set it. I'm also going to use all of the Maybelline products on the right side of my face. And then on the left side of my face, I'll use the Black Opal and Laura Mercier powder. So I just grabbed a generous amount and then let me just blend out under my eyes real quick to make sure that there's no creasing. Even though I don't really suffer from creasing a lot, but I just took a generous amount of the powder and I'm just going to press that in under my eyes. You guys can see it is a bit lighter, but not too much. It doesn't give me an ashy appearance and it kind of just sunk right in. It really sets really fast with this powder. Now I'm going to set underneath my other eye using the Black Opal Powder and that's like one of my favorite loose finishing powders or setting powders to set under my eyes with. I think it really works well for brown skin. And I'm just going to use this little Clean Sweep Makeup Remover Pad. It just removes any powdered kind of makeup such as eyeshadow or powder from your brushes and I'm just going to swirl that in here just to get rid of the excess powder. Now the Black Opal Powder in Medium is more of a warm toned kind of yellowish orange shade but it's not too yellow and then it's not too orange either it's just like right in between and it gives you the right amount of color that you usually would want for under your eyes now this powder actually comes with a sifter but i removed the sifter so if you guys are worried about that it does come with a sifter so i just put a generous amount again on my brush and i'm just going to tap it in under my eyes So as you can see, the right side of my face is a lot more cool tone than Maybelline powder and then this side is a lot more warm tone. So it really just depends on the kind of look that you're going for on which setting powder you would use for under your eyes. Now on to setting my whole face, I'm going to use a big fluffy brush to do so. As you can see, this is just a big fluffy powder brush. Now to set my face with the Maybelline powders, the dark powder is a little bit too red for my skin tone, the undertone, so I like to mix the deep and the dark powder together to get a better shade for my skin. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to lightly dust it over my face. So I've just mixed them together in the container cover tap off the excess after I mixed it together and this is how it looks and then I'm going to dust over my face 
it does really mattify everything and set everything really nicely when you mix these two powders together. Now I'm going to use the Laura Mercier powder to set my entire face on the left side. Now if you guys have seen my first impression video using this powder, you will know my opinion on it. I actually really really like this Laura Mercier powder. It is more of a warm tone powder for your face, but it's really fine melt and it sets your face beautifully. This is how it looks on the brush. Just tap off the excess again and then blend it into my skin. So I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then I'll be right back with some more product details about the product and then share with you guys how I feel about how my face looks. Hey everyone, so I just finished the rest of my face. I am back. This is how it looks when I am finished. Can you guys tell the difference? Can you guys tell the difference between which powders I used? After I completed my face, I just sprayed my face with some setting spray and it is the matte one from NYX. So on the right side, I used all of the Maybelline products. And on my left side, I used my Black Opal and Laura Mercier powders. So let's jump into some product details about these powders. Now the Maybelline Fit Me powders I got from Walmart. You can get them for $5.94, so less than $6 each at your local Walmart, or you can try other drugstores, the prices may vary, or get them offline. Now the Black Opal Finishing Powder I got from my local beauty supply store. This retails for $9.99 in stores. However, I do know that Walmart is starting to carry Black Opal products now, and I think some Targets as well. So check them out. They come in a variety of different colors. I have medium and this is in the number three. The last powder is the Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Powder. If you guys watched my first impression video, you will know that I picked this up a few months ago during the Sephora VIB sale. I've never tried any of the Laura Mercier powders and this one was in one that is closer to my skin tone. It retails for $38 on the Sephora website. I do recommend this powder if you are willing to spend your coins on it. But if you can't, as you can see, I think they both set my face really well. I think they both set under my eyes very well. Although the Maybelline powders to me are a little bit more cool tone, except for the dark powder, but the deep powder definitely under your eyes, it is definitely a little bit more cool tone than the black opal powder would give, but they both set my face to Laura Mercier and the Maybelline very well. I'm gonna zoom in some more so you guys can see if there's any difference to my skin as well. So this is how everything looks zoomed in. This is the Maybelline side. And this is the Black Opal and Laura Mercier side. So $6 each for the powders I used on this side. $10 and $38 for the powders I used on this side. You be the judge what works better for your skin if you want to spend the coins or not. It's currently 321 if you guys can see by my phone right here. I have some other videos to film tonight, but I'll probably leave this on for like two or three hours and then I'll get back to you with how it looks after that. If it settled into my skin more, if I started to get oily more, because I do get oily in my T-zone area. So we'll see how it works and how it looks after a few hours. I'll be right back. Hey everyone, I'm back. It's about four hours later and it is currently, let me show you guys the time. It's currently 7.23 right now. I just got done eating some curry and now I came to speak to you guys because I'm about to go and take my brother to karate. So I want to wash off all of this makeup before I go and do that. So like I said, I had on the makeup for about four hours. I was just in the house doing things. I was planning the graduation trip for my mom's graduation. If you guys don't know, she is currently in school to get her bachelor's of nursing. She's already a nurse, but she's trying to get her bachelor's degree because she doesn't have one yet and she'll be graduating in the fall. So I was planning that for the last few hours and yeah, now I am coming to you guys. So I didn't go outside or anything like that. This is how the makeup looks. I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see my forehead. So I am a little bit a tad bit oily in my normal places that I get oily. My T-cell, my forehead, and my nose a little bit. I did not blot or anything, but this is still really good. I'm a little bit more oilier and I creased a little bit on this side more than this side. I don't know if you guys can see on camera. So the Maybelline side is just a tad bit more oilier than the Black Opal and Laura Mercier side but I think they lasted very well for the last four hours. My makeup still looks really good. If you guys like this review, 
this demo, this tryout, let me know. Let me know which one you guys thought won, the Maybelline side or the Black Open Laura Mercier side. Let me know if you guys have these products already and testing them out for yourself and how you like them. And please like this video if you liked it so it can get recommended to others. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. I would love for you guys to become part of the Rosebud family and don't forget to turn on bell notifications so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video. I try to upload videos every week if possible. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later.